Okay, so, hey, so we finally figured it out. This is how you get Samsung applications to work on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 machine. So I have all the instructions at the bottom, and I know we've been trying to figure this out for a while, but we finally figured it out. So basically in the beginning, you're going to install every single Samsung app that I have on the bottom of the description, okay? And I'm going to post a link to the actual GitHub, so just in case you need additional instructions. But So you're going to install all the Samsung apps from the Microsoft Store. You're going to go to each link, and then you're going to download each one. And then once you install each one, okay, we're going to go to the next step of adding the power script um, to the actual computer and running as admin. Okay, so let's get to that. Okay, so once you get to this part, run PowerShell as admin, okay? And then I'm going to also put on the description of what you need to copy and paste into the PowerShell. It's going to install the latest PowerShell, and you're going to hit Y here. You're going to hit Yes here. And then we'll go to the next step. So this process may take a little bit to install here, but once this is finished, um, we'll just go and install the actual uh, Galaxy Book Enabler uh, for this and install the script to run in PowerShell as admin. Alright, so now it has finished and we are going to install the file now. So, um, bear with me because I am doing a voiceover on this, but, so I'm going to put the link in the description below here. So once you download it, you're going to extract all the files to a folder, and then once you extract all the files to the folder here, to copy and paste that folder, the files that you extracted, and you're going to drop it into your C drive, okay, and then once you drop it into your C drive, you're going to have to open up PowerShell again, run it as admin, okay, and then follow the path to um, your C drive to the Google, um, not the Google, the Galaxy Book Enabler, and then run that script that is in there, the Galaxy Book Enabler uh, dot PS1, and then go to start underscore ps underscore script dot bat there um, so once you do that uh, it should work now you might get an error message which I'm going to show you here basically it was giving me a error that was saying that I needed to enable or it was like an unknown like script or bat file that couldn't run through PowerShell so I had to use a PowerShell off the net to enable me to run these scripts through the PowerShell so I'm also going to drop that into the description here and I'm going to show you uh, the path that I took here to get to there alright so right here is where I set the execution policy and remote sign so here I had to yes in the yes to all um I did yes to all so just so it would allow me to approve this policy so we can run the script and then once you ran it um you should be able to actually run it okay well I hit yes here we could do yes to all but to just say yes then you should be able to and then at that point now you just go back to the same script again and we should be able to run it alright so now you just gotta go back to that same directory back to your C drive type everything in and then you're gonna this time hit period backslash once you get to that directory Galaxy Book Enabler PS1, and then it's going to ask you if you're ready to perform the run this script. You're going to hit Y to hit yes, and then once you do that, it's going to go through the automatic process of enabling this bat file to run every time you restart your computer, um, and it's going to ask you to install all your applications over again. But we already did that in the beginning, so you don't have to worry about that. But just hit yes on everything, hit Y. Uh, go through the process again and again and then once you get to the end you should have every uh, Samsung app installed and then you should be able to use your Samsung apps and it's going to work like normal 
And as always, uh, you can leave a comment. Let me know if there's any more questions. I'm going to put the GitHub link in the description. Uh, I should have everything that uh, you should copy and paste in the description as well. Um, just let me know what's going on and what your thoughts is. And yeah, I'm going to skip to the part where it's working. Let's get it. Let's go. And uh, more videos to come. All right. Let's get it.